Right now here at Court TV, we're following breaking news out of New York City as police are searching for a gunman who shot and killed the CEO of the health insurance company United Healthcare. We want to show you some live pictures right now of the crime scene. You see the tape in a big area blocked off with lots of law enforcement members walking around the area. The victim is Brian Thompson, 50 years old, the CEO of United Healthcare. He had been the CEO for more than three years and with the company since 2004. Police are saying that Thompson was walking toward the New York Hilton Hotel located in Midtown Manhattan. Walking there this morning, uh, he was dressed in a suit and tie. He was going there apparently to attend a work conference when police say he was shot multiple times outside of the hotel around 6.45 a.m. Uh, investigators believe that the gunman was there waiting for Thompson to arrive and shot him from about 20 feet away, police say. And to give you an idea of where this is, uh, this is very close to lots of tourist attractions. Rockefeller Center, the Museum of Modern Art, the big Christmas tree this time of year. Uh, think about everything that's there in this area. So lots and lots of people had to be around. And I want to bring in someone who is very familiar with this area, our legal analyst guest, Cannon Kearney, uh, who lives in New York City, practices law in New York City. Can I understand your office is right down the street, isn't it? Literally blocks away from the area, Julie. Now, if you could imagine how many people usually are on the street that time in the morning around 645, police say this shooting happened. So we have to think about usual. Usual during this time of the year is different than other times of the year. So at this very moment, this is the most wonderful time of the year. I mean, the song is playing, Mariah Carey's everywhere. In fact, I believe today the Christmas tree is actually supposed to be uh, placed at Rockefeller Center. So there are going to be more tourists out today than on a normal day. So it would be a perfect opportunity, if you want to use that word, for gunmen to sneak into the crowd to get away to the subway, to get away to the West Side Highway or East Side. It doesn't matter. This would be a very, very opportune time for an individual to strike someone if they wanted to. Definitely. Uh, and Kenneth, I've been to this area uh, many times as a visitor. I've, in fact, stayed at that Hilton Hotel. It's beautiful. It's popular with tourists. Um, a really nice area. People generally can go there and feel safe. Can they not? Yes. Yeah, so for the most part in this area, you were talking about Fifth Ave all of the great shops, all of the different places that tourists are going to be. So guess who else is going to be there? NYPD. So they're, they're deep. The force is deep. So again, this person, um, as the police have said, seems to be someone who would have been lying in wait. So they could have been in just regular clothes. Um, they might be an assassin. Who knows? But the point is, this was somebody who was able to get away from those authorities due to the fact that there were a lot of tourists in this area. Right, right, Cannon. And some other information that we have is that United Healthcare was set to have its annual meeting with investors this morning at the Hilton Hotel. And that is where Brian Thompson was said to be going, dressed in his suit and tie and all ready to have that meeting. I want to show you a picture of Brian Thompson, the victim here. This is the man who was shot and killed this morning, the CEO of United Healthcare, 50 years old at the time of his death. Investigators are saying that he was shot multiple times, was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment, but sadly could not be saved. And right now, police are on the ground. They're looking for whomever shot him. They believe uh, whomever carried out this deadly shooting fled immediately. And so, as Ken and Kearney noted, uh, the many NYPD officers on the ground are doing canvases of the area right now, talking with witnesses, seeing who saw anything. As Ken noted, lots of people had to be around when Brian Thompson was shot and killed. Uh, this is just one of those 
stunning kind of incidents. I think because this is such an open area, Canon, as you noted, with lots of people, it's bustling. Uh, it's an area where you can feel safe because of the number of people, because of the number of police that you always see on every corner walking their various beats. It seems like such a bold and such a brazen crime, doesn't it, Canon? I would definitely agree, Julie. Again, in this area, the normal crimes might be an individual with a mental health problem uh, who may or may not be homeless. Uh, issues maybe of um, uh, bar fights, maybe at nighttime. But at this time, again, this is an area where you have to toy stores, you have the, 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 the environment of the Christmas spirit going on right now, the holiday spirit. And so I would am very surprised of such a brazen act during this time of day. Right, right. You know, and it, it just kind of makes you wonder the reason why with, okay, it, it appears to be very targeted. Uh, it, it appears that from what law enforcement has said, the shooter was waiting for Brian Thompson. The shooter must have had information that Brian Thompson was going to be going there to the Hilton to have that annual meeting with investors this morning. And so we have a, a lying in wait type of crime, Cannon. Uh, these types of crimes, really sinister, really make you think, why? What was the underlying motivation to want to kill this CEO? Yes, uh, essentially, uh, with this being a public company, as you said, today was a big day for this company. It wouldn't have been a secret to anybody that Mr. Thompson was going to be there. Um, unfortunately, uh, th this young man has been murdered. Um, so there could be many reasons. I mean, at this point, the police would need to start with those closest to him. Uh, as you know, in all of the cases that we've seen here on Court TV, uh, phone records from Mr. Thompson, uh, cash accounts, all of these different things will need to be looked at in order to get a better uh, understanding of who may be the culprit or who may have some form of animosity towards Mr. Thompson. Right. Uh, that's a really great point, Cannon. You have to, to wonder, you know, we, we talked about physically these officers are, are canvassing the streets, but also what are they doing digitally, right? Are they talking, you know, with family, friends, colleagues, seeing who might have had a reason to want to kill this man? And, and why? Why uh, did somebody want to kill him? Uh, this is a bold, brazen crime uh, in the middle of the morning. Uh, 645 when lots of people are out uh, really stunning uh, it, it it made me think for a moment Canon I, I know not exactly similar but my mind went there maybe yours did too I think about years ago when John Lennon was shot and killed walking down the busy street in New York City lots of people around how bold how brazen yet it happened your thoughts yes so essentially you also have to think about the proximity to the time frame of him about to speak to the investor. He literally died within minutes of that occurring. So I would say it's clear that uh, somebody did not want him to make their speech. Somebody did not want him to enter that door. Um, and it's just unfortunate, as we can see the victim on the screen right now, that this man and his family um, are suffering from today's death. That's right, Cannon. Our hearts go out to Brian Thompson's friends, family, all of his loved ones taken from this earth at 50 years of age. He was only 50 and had been the CEO of United Healthcare for a little over three years with the company, though, for a long time. He started there in 2004. As we continue getting more information, we will pass this along to you. We know that the NYPD is going to be holding a press conference at 1130 a.m. And of course, we're going to take that for you live and get any new information on the ground there in New York City. We're going to keep that camera up, continue to look at the scene there and continue to remember this victim, Brian Thompson, as he was shot and killed early this morning outside of the Hilton in Midtown Manhattan.